Josh, what's the wash up? Uh, yeah, look, we, we were in yesterday. Um, we, as a, I guess, as a coaching group and a playing group, reviewed the game, you know, closely yesterday. Um, and I guess in the wash up, we were really poor in the contest. And, you know, that would have been clearly evident watching it at home. Um, and it was clearly evident on review. So that was an area that we, we addressed yesterday and we're hoping for a response this week. How do you arrest that on the ground? Is it up to the leaders? Uh, look, oh, I guess when, you know, when a side's um, under siege, if you like, or, you know, an opposition brings some heat, which you'd expect week in, week out, because that's the nature of the game. Um, you know, I, I think it's up to every individual to respond in that area. But ultimately, I, I guess you are looking towards your, your leaders to set the example um, and I guess fly the flag in, in that space. Um, you know, and again, that's, that's an area we're looking to improve does come that, Friday night. I was going to say, does that burden sort of fall across a few blokes? Because you know, Tex and Sloaney can only do what they do and is it up to a few other guys? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, and as I said, it's, it's, up, you know, it's everyone's responsibility to, I guess, to bring the mentality and um, the right frame of mind when they're playing you know, this game, which is a, it's a really tough, brutal game. Week in, week out, and you've got to be at your best. And if you're not, you get exposed and you get, you get stung like we did on, on Friday night against Collingwood. So, look, it's everyone's responsibility. Um, but ultimately, I guess, you know, if you're looking at the dynamic and mix of your, of your playing group, I guess there's more expectation put on the, the senior boys and the, the leaders of the footy club to, to lead by example in, the, in that area. So with that said, is the, is the criticism of the seniors or the leaders, has that, has that been warranted, do you think? There's been a bit of criticism the last couple of days. Has there? I'm, I wasn't aware of that. But um, has it been warranted? Well, look, again, it's it, when we're playing, you know, a combat sport, a tough physical sport that, um, you know, you expect players to bring the, the right headspace. I know I sound like I'm repeating myself, but, you know, you expect them to bring the right headspace week in, week out, because if you don't, you get burnt. Um, and that translates into, you know, the poor performance, which which we had on Friday night. So in the end, um, you know, if you talk about criticism of senior players, it's probably criticism across the board. And I think it's also important to note that, you know, as a coaching group, we also take responsibility for that as well. Um, and I guess that was the, you know, the outcome we wanted to get to yesterday, that um, we weren't good in that area and we need to we need to change it. Josh, can you elaborate on what that headspace actually is? Or just bring a competitive mentality. Did you feel like the players didn't turn up with that? No, I'm not yeah. saying that at all. No, not, no, I wouldn't say they didn't they didn't turn up with that mentality. Um, I guess as the game transpired, we we weren't good in that area. Um, and for whatever reason, that's how the, the game unfolded. Was the plan always, so was the plan always to come in on a Sunday and do the review then? Or yep. was yeah, that was in the program. Yeah, that was always in the program. Yeah. And Eddie Bass, yeah. how's he put up in the hamstring? Yeah, look, he he came off. We didn't come back on in the last yeah. last quarter, and that was obviously more a precautionary. Um, he had a bit of hamstring tightness. He'll be assessed by the medical staff. We haven't gone down that path as yet, so he'll be assessed by the medical staff to see, um, I guess, what the outcome is um, with his hamstring, and, and they'll make the make the call based on that. And how's Mitch McGovern and Dave McCoy put up after? Uh, yeah, look, um, Mitch is fine. I haven't seen David today, um, but again, that's a. I guess the, the doctors will, will take and the medical staff will take care of that. How much is this taking a toll? Not the injury, but just the marketing. Look, I think again, without sounding like a broken record, it's, it's a tough, you know, contact sport, um, and I guess the game sort of throws that at, at clubs in various, you know times throughout the year or sometimes you have years where you, where you don't get a lot of injuries and other times you get hit fairly, fairly hard by injuries and I guess we're in that space at the moment but ultimately it's um, you know if you're looking at positives to come out of it, it gives other guys opportunities uh, and we're not looking for excuses as far as personnel out absolutely not um, and you know we refer back to that contest phase and, and that ability to compete at that level that's required uh, you know everyone across the board has to bring that it's not just players that aren't playing and relying on them to come back into the side to get us back on track, but but ultimately, um, you know, we, we do have a lot of injuries. But as I said, it gives the, the younger boys and, and other guys looks at, at senior footy. Eddie's only missed one game. You're sorry, Tom. Oh, sorry, Eddie's only missed the one game. You're confident. I know you've got to wait for the medical, but he'll get himself up for Friday night. I can't answer that. To be honest with you, I, I don't know. I don't know. As I said, that's a medical issue that they'll sort out tomorrow. Um, so I actually can't can't answer that question at the same stage. As far as and with his pain, with his this all being pain, something and, and his skin over his wet as well, but yep. clearly labouring on the weekend. Yeah, look, he's he's on the improve 
you know, week in, week out. Um, as you said, you, you probably saw that he, at times throughout the night, he, he, he's not moving to 100%, but, but I guess when you're, when you're looking at a guy like Sloan, who's, you know, has that ability to, to fight through a bit of pain and still perform at a level, so he's improving and we're hoping he continues to improve. Is Tex a bit the same with a foot or just limited no, look, I, Yeah, I think probably probably more along the lines of that, Tom. I, I've been asked that question quite a bit, obviously being um, looking after the forwards, but, but as far as Tex is concerned, no, I, I haven't sort of heard or, or seen any of that, what you're talking about. Uh, at this stage, okay, yeah. As far as ETA, I'm not sure. Again, you'll have to speak to Matt House about that. Um, but yeah, at this stage, I'm, as, as far as I'm aware, they're, they're tracking nicely. Have you seen Matt? As the board coach, Josh, how did you find the five four forwards? How did that yeah. work on Friday night? Look, you know, it's interesting when you when you, when you look at the result of the game. It's it's easy to sort of reflect and go, should have we taken, you know, the five taller players in, or shouldn't we? Um, and that's probably a little bit outcome based. And you know, it's interesting at, at team selection when we, you know, when we sit down as a coaching group and talk about the balance and mix of the side. Um, I thought Darcy Fogarty was was probably unlucky to go out post the Richmond game against St Kilda and then obviously we, we lost Lockie Murphy so I guess the, the immediate response is you know we probably should go small um, and again we discussed that at, at length as a coaching group and decided that you know Darcy Fogarty who mind you had sort of been leading forward 50 tackles in the AFL for the first two weeks um, he has a real physical presence forward and I guess compounding that was the fact that it was obviously the conditions on on Friday night it was a little bit wet and there's probably a misconception that you know, you hit the panic button and go small. Um, we chose not to. Um, I guess based on the, the personnel we had at our disposal, we, we stuck with those, those taller players and um, unfortunately didn't get the job done. Was that a deciding factor in why we lost? Absolutely not. But I think it's also important to note as well, if you looked at the mix of our forward line um, and the athleticism and the different physical attributes that each of them bring, you know, we're not, we don't have five big tall dinosaurs sitting forward. You know, Josh Jenkins is quite, a, you know, a dynamic player. Tom Lynch can play sort of that medium slash small, but he can also play tall. Um, you know, Tex can, Tex can move as well. So again, that wasn't a, a huge concern, um, but ultimately based on the outcome, you know, those questions are gonna be asked. Have you seen the vision of Pikey and Sauce having a bit of a back and forth? Uh, no, I haven't. No, what's that about? Oh, there was a bit of a break and Pikey was sort of right in his face. And okay. I can't really ask you if you haven't seen it. No, no, I haven't actually. <laughs> I've been busy over the weekend. I, yeah, no, I haven't actually. What no, about Sydney? Um, you're yep. obviously working there for a few years. Have you got any intel, or has that become? They're a good side. Yeah. They love the <laughs> they love the contest, um, and they pride themselves on defence. And again, you look at the personnel that they have, you know, at their disposal, and and the brand that they play. I guess as a as a positive moving forward for us is that that was an area we were we were poor in, as I've discussed, so what greater challenge than to play Sydney up there on the home deck. Um, and they'll be tough to beat, as they always are. Who would they, who would they, put, on, who would they put on Rory Sloan? Who would be their tag, I suppose? Uh, I'm not sure whether they'd, they'd go to him or not. I don't know. Um, you know, potentially they will. I know George Hewitt's done some defensive roles on opposition forwards, sorry, opposition defenders. Um, whether they go to a Rory Sloan, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but, uh, We'll have to wait and see Friday night to see how that transpires. Do you got, what do you guys think? Do you guys have to find ways to help out Rory again, or just deal when James Ash did a pretty good job on him on the weekend? Yeah, look, I, I again, there's probably you know it's got to be a team focus, but also as an individual, you at times you just got to work through it. And I'm not saying Rory doesn't. I'm just saying just in general, as you know, quality mids that get tagged. So yeah, no doubt support from teammates helps his job, but but in the end, you just got to keep working. Whoever it is, has got to keep working through. It.